Here we go. Last episode. Bigfoot cut on camera. What the hell is that? As the clues fall into place. This looks like part of the Pathfinder symbol. I don't know what the hell this means, but it has to mean something. A shocking secret. You knew Trevor? I knew it. Is revealed. I think we woke up the devil. Woke up the devil? All right, let's roll. Oh, 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 oh. I got us. I got us. Come here. Something just got the hell ripped out of it. Something back here. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. The Ames team. Watch this. Makes a monster discovery. Oh, oh, yes. oh, Look at this son of a bitch. That's a Bigfoot. Dab in the middle of a massive mystery. Damn. Ooh. Damn hole getting attacked or something. We've got the grafting monster out here. We have smoke wolves out here. The ground's been rumbling. Something's shaking the ground out here in the Tiger Valley. And now you can hear this squealing back out off of the field there. That's definitely a hog. Listen to that. And something tells me there's a predator on this farm. This hog. Just got a big chunk tore out of its ass. There you go. We can smell <laughs> that Jeffro juice as soon as we got on this farm. Yeah. You was out here hitting on that coyote call. Guys, I'd say we just called in a smoke wolf. Didn't even mean to. Oh, hell yeah. That Jeffro juice is potent. This is over the top. That thing stinks. You can smell it over a mile away. Willie hitting that coyote call. <laughs> I think it's very possible that we just brought a smoke wolf in. Bill, you got your gun? Hell yeah, I got my weapon. Why don't you two head towards that noise? Jeff, we need your thermal. Yeah. We need to go get our guns. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's Hell yeah. We need to head out, grab our guns, grab the thermal, and start checking this farm out. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Go down, brother. You two swing it. Yeah, I never heard a hog sound like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Son of a gun, that thing was a squeal. If we did, in fact, bring these smoke wolves in... All right, let's roll. <laughs> we need to make sure that this man's livestock is safe. It sounded like it's coming from this way up here. Let's go ahead and start clearing this farm. Let's just keep working up this way and keep our eyes out. So why got us keep our damn eyes open and our ears... <laughs> Watch out, Willie. Watch out, damn it. Hey, right down there. Right over there. Easy with me, easy, dude. Come on, I'm gonna swim here, Willie. Right there, right there. Right behind that, right there. That sound was with blam banging through there. Damn, that sounds good. That bastard was big, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look right here. Right there's what big bastard come through, Willie. Look at that. That sound of a bitch went right on through there. That's a damn hog. That's gonna be sitting on the hogs right there. Let's get around there. See if we can't figure out what the hell's going on. Go, 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 damn it, go. Walk, 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 go. Watch your ass, watch your ass. Get ready. Careful. All right. Got a rambunctious of steer right here watching. Oh, he's on. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him get. Yeah, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. The other is scared. Mm -hmm. These guys are a little standoffish, ain't they? They are. They're acting like they're trying to protect something like there's a predator in here or something. They're awful skittish. I've worked with cattle since I was that tall. Man, they're huddling up tight. Yeah, they are. And when they bunch up like this, that means trouble's around. That means there's a predator here. They don't like something. No, they don't. Hey, hang on. I, I, I do have something right here. Yeah. That, that don't look right. There's like three or four of them. Right up onto that fence. Must be a blood trail. 
See it? Oh, yeah. We got to go and check it. Yeah. Take it easy, bud. Look here. Let me find it. Right there it is. Yeah. It's cow poop. <laughs> <laughs> really, cow poop? My pie. <laughs> you jackass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, Jeff? Yeah, sure. <laughs> There ain't get past you. <laughs> Believe it or not, Jeff just found cow poop in a cow pit. <laughs> cows I just got done eating. Ain't nothing getting by this guy. Look at them all looking over the hill that way. Look, there's something. Going on. There's something. There's something back on that other side. They see something. Guys, let's go back out of here. Let's work around that side. Come on. Let's go. Get them damn hogs. Something gets them hogs all jacked up. Yeah, something definitely get. Oh, whoa, 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 look right there. Son of a bitch. That blood's fresh as hell. Something just got the hell ripped out of it. Yeah. Come from where them hogs are screaming right there. Hell oh, yeah. Right here. We got another bloody spot. Let's oh, check out bitch. them hogs. What's all tell you doing now, Willie? Something has got them hogs jacked up. These damn hogs is going eight crazy. They're jumping, running every damn where, crowding in the corner. What the hell has got them hogs riled up like that? I know hogs. This is the way they act when they're a damn predator around. What the hell's got them hogs? Oh, uh, shut uh, up. Oh, what's, what's, right here? what's the hell out right there, dude? Well, there might be something up in there. Easy now, damn it, easy. Cover me, Bill. I'm going to look around the ground here, see if there's anything up right this hay wagon. You got Where? Food, I don't see anything. You good, dude? Keep your eye up here above me. I am, damn it. Watch your ass. Oh, holy hell, what was that? Something back here. Holy. What? What is it? What the hell is it? A dead baby hog. Son of a bitch. Something just ripped the hell out of that little old thing. Damn, look at that track right there. Two things as big as hell, will he? Those right there are smoke whip tracks. I'm working around this hay wagon, and I look down, and right there, a little pig just got slaughtered. Dirty bastard, cute little old pig. I was looking down at this little pig, and I seen a big canine track. That there is a smoke whip. The son of a bitch's hind legs hit right there. One front paw up there, one over the top, bounced up, and went right out the bar. Pig killing bastard. I didn't like smoke wolves to start with. After seeing them kill this little piglet, I'll tell you what these bastards are. They're some pork killing pricks. Hey, Buck. Yeah, go ahead, Will. We just found a little piglet just been slaughtered inside of this barn. A little pig? Yeah, a little piglet. Definitely by a smoke wolf. And he just tore out of the barn? And me and Wild Bill, we're hot on his ass. O okay, Will, we're gonna head your way. Go, Bill, Will, we'll get him. Come on, Bill, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Me and Bill, we're going to follow these smoke whip tracks, and we're going to get this pig killing bastard. Damn, that little pig never had a chance, Bill. That smoke will turn a little pig off to hell, man. Dirty bastard. He had to come this way right here, Willie. Right here, look at this. Look at this. Look at this right here. Oh, hell. He's headed down. Right down to it, away right there. I'll tell you what, that didn't sound like a little old pig getting killed a little bit ago. No, I've heard hogs getting slaughtered before. Wait, 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 wait. I got something right down here at the tree line. Take a look at this. Is it right down in there? Yeah. Jeff just spotted something on the thermal. We can't tell exactly what it is. Right here? Yeah, right out there. But it's pretty big and right down by the tree line. Willie, hold up, hold up, there's mine. Back that way, that's smoke wolf territory. Hey, Jeff just picked up something on the thermal. And it's going right down towards that creek that leads down to the smoke wolf den. This very well could be a smoke wolf. Son of a bitch. Damn. What do you want us to do? Once you guys get over here, we're going to follow this. All right, we're on our way. It's on the move. Let's start working up that way. All right, let's get We need to get over there and check this out. Come on, let's get the hell over there. Come on, skip. Yeah, we got to get right down there to that woods line. Let's get it, bro. Come on. Do you hear that? That sounded like a meal. Willie. Oh, Watch out for that fence, bro. No, Damn! Boy, I stuck my bob right on that. Oh, damn. <laughs> Holy, <laughs> it ain't funny. I'm not laughing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh.
Damn, Damn we got a gut. Son of a bitch. <laughs> wow. Come on, go all right. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Buck. Dude, you guys are all right? There ain't no hell no, okay? <laughs> yeah. Bill just shocked us. That poor thing's turned into a lightning rod, ain't it? <laughs> Don't tell them about to turn that damn electric off. I'm tired of shocking my old penis on that master. Woo! <laughs> it ain't funny. Man, I've seen sparks flying off that bitch. He's got to learn to wash them electric fences. He don't pay a lick of attention. Walks right into it. What the hell, The damn electric fence. Holy. I pissed down my leg. Come on, dude. Who shit something? <laughs> Jump over it. Come on. Hell with that thing. I ain't touching it. I'll break that bastard. All right, we got to give him some backup. Come on, brother. Easy now. Come I got to go slow, on. man. <laughs> Easy, Willie. Hey, it looked like he was going towards the line, didn't it? Yeah. Hey, there's lights. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey. 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 Put some meat yeah. on that bastard. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hey, Bill. How's your yeah. lightning rod? <laughs> <laughs> how's your lightning rod? <laughs> how many times are you going to do that before you start paying attention? <laughs> I'm just Willie. I'm looking around. Run right into the bastard. Bill! <laughs> <laughs> Bill, how's your lightning rod? Yeah. 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 <laughs> we just met up with the rest of the team, but we gotta stay on the trail of this smoke wolf. We gotta get in these woods and keep chasing him. Scott, stay yeah. ready. Stay ready. We gotta push this bastard back into that thick territory. It's kind of hard to track in all this dry stuff. Yeah. Right through here, guys. Right through here. What the hell we're doing now? Guys, watch your step. Oh, 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 yeah. Easy, easy now. Wait a minute. Give him some room. Come on. Hey, Jip, you went out hard, brother. Yeah. Give me a hand, dude. Get your head up. Hold it right here. Look right up there. Oh, son of a bitch. It's the wing wall. Hell yes, it's that wing wall. Damn, that thing looks evil. Let's ease up there. Yeah, Here, Jeff. Get you know, Jeff. We'll get it for corn, brother. Corn. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Looking at this wall, it feels like your soul's being pulled out of you. All right. Yeah, let's get up there. All right, come on. Let's go. Like your being's being tore apart. Man, this thing is ridiculous. I didn't realize we was this close to it. No. This looks like some kind of yard ornament that the devil would keep on his front lawn. Guys, come up here and take a look at this. Welcome to the gates of hell. Man, this thing's creepier than I remember. Man, it looks twice as evil as the last time I was Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. Think about it a second time. We thought we was just chasing a smoke wolf, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's on the other side of this wall? No, no man. No man's land. That's where the smoke wolves live, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Right down over their den's at. Sounds like to me we may have just ran that smoke wolf right back into no man's land. Yeah. At least yeah. he's off that farm down there. Exactly, and that's what we wanted to do was get him off that farm. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Big killing bastards. Hey, Jeff, we were just talking about this wall the other day. Yeah. You told me that you'd reached out to the landowner, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Crocodile Dundee Day. That real intimidating looking guy. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. You said that you had a conversation with him. Yeah. What was that about? Well, I called him, told him we were coming back in town, going out to them smoke wolves, and we needed permission to get back on his property. And at the end of that conversation, he said he had something he wanted to tell all of us. He said what it was? He wouldn't say. He said he'd tell us all at one time. Well, it sounds like we need to talk today. Yeah. Are we sure? As quick as possible, too. Hell yeah, I like to hear what he's got to say. I tell you what, won't you get a hold of him and see if we can't sit down and have a discussion with him? Hell yeah, it's a done deal, buddy. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you what I think we need to do. Let's head back, get your Jeff Rowe juice 
off that form. <laughs> 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 okay, let's let's go ahead and call her night, guys. Jeff mentioned that this landowner Dave had reached out to him, but with all we've been juggling recently, Jeff, hell yeah, let's get a hold of Dave. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, right. we haven't had time to sit down with him. All right, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to talk to him, see what the hell kind of information he's got. Oh, right. But tonight, after seeing this wall, it's almost like a sign. We need to talk with Dave and hear what he has to say. It's time for this team to get some answers. Well, Jeff, yeah. at least we know your Jeff Bird juice sure does work. Yeah. <laughs> I heard they're like a peach a little bit. Boys, it seems like the Tiger Valley never ceases to surprise, huh? Oh, <laughs> that's for sure. Today, we're meeting up with Dave. Here he comes. Right. The landowner truck. where the winged wall sits. Dave owns no man's land. Still look like that rough character we seen the last time. <laughs> Hell yeah! And it's been in his family for generations. Long time no see, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy yeah. Man. When we reached out to Dave, he actually said he had some information for us. Have you a seat, dude? Hell yeah. We don't know what he's got or what's in store, but it sounds important. Well, Dave, the last time we met you, I know it was a little overwhelming. You see us five ugly mugs and a whole bunch of cameras, I can understand why maybe you use a little standoffish. What's, uh, what's up with all the cameras and stuff? You know, I've seen the camera guys and all that bull Like, I, I just thought that the circus coming to town, to be quite honest with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, people thought that before the cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that. Uh, I've never seen the show Mountain Monsters before in my life until my daughter showed it to me. Uh, Redneck Crocodile Dundee. I don't know which one you <laughs> sons of bitches said that. <laughs> Looks like a Redneck Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> 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 Dave brought up the whole Crocodile Dundee comment. I got a little nervous for a second. My bark's a lot worse than my bite, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> but admit it, he looks like a Redneck Crocodile Dundee. So you had never seen the show before? No, no, I'd never seen the show <laughs> once. Didn't even know it was out there, to be quite honest with you. My daughter showed me on her phone exactly what Mountain Monsters is. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then I got to watching it. And that's when the light bulb clicked that uh, we all have more of a history together than what any of us knew. What do you mean? What? What do you mean? Turns out that your leader, who you guys know, is apparently Trapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah our leader. Yeah. I knew him as John Tice. You knew Trapper? You knew him. I knew him. Well, how in the hell did you know him, Dave? I was a 14-year-old boy. I didn't know him all that well, but my dad and him knew each other very well. Wow. Hell. Really? I'll be damned. Your dad and Trapper were friends? My dad and John Tice met each other trapping beaver down here in the Tiger Valley on the far end in the early 1970s. Really? That was in Trapper's journal? Yeah. Sure as hell was. Over the course of the years, Dad and John, they'd become pretty good pals. They looked at a lot of hunting, a lot of fishing, and uh, probably a little bit of drinking involved, too. <laughs> <laughs> Once he made a friendship with you, it was yep. a damn good one. Yeah. yeah. So sometime in the mid-80s, I think it's around 1984 or so, this big oil boom in the area. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big in that time. Big yeah. time. Oh, yeah. And apparently John had his own drilling business, drilling rig. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. basically, Dad decided to let him go ahead and do some exploratory wells. And I think a lot of it just had more to do with Dad and him knowing each other. Yeah. 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 He had faith that, you know, it'd restore the land back the way, the way he found it. So you're saying Trapper drilled oil on your dad's land back in the early 80s? It sure did. That explains that picture. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That drilling rig right up in the middle of the Tiger Valley. Back in the day, you get bulldozers and drilling rigs on somebody's property, it's a big deal, especially in the early 80s. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 
You guys might recognize this fella right here. Oh, man. <laughs> There's my dad and him. Hey, yeah. look how young he is. Yeah. There's Trapper. Now, this was taken in the brake trailer right there at the well pad. Oh, wow. He looked pretty happy, so I figured he got something over on the old man or something. <laughs> uh, I'm not one bit surprised that old Trapper talked Dave's dad into letting him drill for oil here on his property. This picture here was when they were surveying out to where they thought they was going to drill. Yeah. yeah. He had a gift. He could talk anyone into anything. That man had me believing one time I could run for the Pope. You guys asked about the rumbling here in the Tiger Battle? Yeah. 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 Uh, I remember Dad had taken this picture here. It come home. We got down to supper. John showed up at the door and said, Phil, we're pulling out. Apparently, they'd hit a void. Initially, John thought, well, we got a we got a cavern or something that's you know he's seen it before. Yeah. So apparently he grabbed a flashlight, went down in there, looked in that hole, and I don't know what he's seen, but it shook him right square to his core. Wow. Yeah. Really. Dave said Trapper went down under the platform where he was drilling at, looked down in this hole, and sees something that shocks him. Shake Trapper up. Yeah. That was some serious. What in the hell was down in there? So he come over to the house that night, white as a ghost, and he told my dad, he goes, we're dragging up. And dad's like, dragging up? He just looked at him, he said, Phil, I think we woke up the devil. What the hell? Woke up the devil? I wonder what he saw. I don't know, but the rumbling in the Tiger Valley, it started that night. Wow, son of a bitch. What the hell did they do? In the Tiger Valley, it started that night. Wow, son of a bitch. What the hell did they do? a big ass can of worms back in 1984 when he was down here at Tiger Valley. I'm talking about a can of worms he couldn't close. Dave, do you know the location of where Trapper was drilling it? I don't know exactly, but I do know I see a great looking 3D map over there that I can probably get you guys close with. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find out where Trapper was drilling and what the hell was down there. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a hell of a map you got going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my bearing straight here. What is that? It's a tree structure. I think it was built by the Grafton monster. And what's this? That's a big foot nest. That's one of the biggest big foot nests we've ever, this team has ever found. Oh, be damned. Well, I think you guys all know what this is. Oh, oh, hell, hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Wang Wall, brother. So, the best of my recollection, the drill site was over here to the southeast of that. Somewhere down in there, there's a point where the creeks come together and it's on top of that. Wow. Oh, man. That's an area down in there we've never been to. No, no. Oh, as far there. as I know, nobody's been down in there since that old well. My God, it sounds to me like we bit off a hell of a big chunk to chew, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got a lot of gristle in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ain't a bull, Doc. One more thing about your former leader, John Tice. He put something out here at this wall. He put something out there? He did. You know what it is? It means nothing to me. I don't know. But you guys might. We need to go out there and check that out. Hell yeah, we do. Yeah. Hell yeah. Find out what the hell Trapper put out there. Dave, you care if we head back out to that wall? You guys can head out there. You just be damn careful. That's all right. Hell yeah. They said he had some stuff he needed to tell us. Man, he wasn't lying. This man's got my head spinning.
Dave, thank you, man. Give us a pile of information. I hey, appreciate it, man. No problem. I want to wish you guys the best yeah. of luck. We just found out for sure when the rumbling started right here in the Tiger Valley. But we need to still find out why. What did Trapper find when he's out there drilling? We need to find Trapper's drill site. Man, that was a hellacious bunch of information we got, wasn't it? Enlighten me. Oh, hell yeah. Man, we got to get up to that wall tonight. Hell yes, we do. Man, I don't know about you guys, but Dave blew my mind. I cannot believe Trapper's been out to that wall. I know. We're headed out to that wing wall. After another bread crumb, the trapper left us. Give her hell, you sons of bitches! Dave told us the trapper had been out there before and left some. What the hell did he leave? Yeah, that just blows my damn mind that by God he was here. I don't know what he left, but we ain't gonna leave till we find him. He ain't got no better looking than the first time I seen it. Is it me? Or does everybody else feel like those red eyes, everywhere you move, they keep looking at you? Staring you down. I kind of get that feeling they're looking clear through me. Guys, think about this a second. Dave said Trapper had been to this wall, and he left something here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The question is, what the hell did he leave? Exactly. Guys, I think we need to spread out and start searching, but where do we even start? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, we know that stump was the first feature they ever put here, clear back in the 20s. Remember his grandfather put it in here, Dave was talking about. Yeah. This wall was started in 1927, the year my dad was born. My grandfather started it with a honey locust post. Yeah, yeah it took over the years. Yeah, something that old could have hollow spot in it, you know? Got a good point, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, let's spread out and start looking. Yeah. All right. Okay. We don't know what Trapper left at this wall or where it is. This is going to be looking like looking for a damn needle in a haystack, I'd say, boys. We need to put on our hillbilly detective hats and start looking. There ain't in here, but an old squirrel been in here, a bunch of nuts. Let's look behind it. That's a good idea, huh? What was it the Trapper could have left out here? Could have been a note, treasure. Here, what'd you find? A piece off one of these cattle stole teeth. Buck, let me see it. He wants to know I'm going to put him in my pocket so I have extra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, bro. It's really hard to find something when you don't know what it is you're looking for. You know what I'm thinking here, guys? What? Trapper used to raise them longhorn Texas steers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I wonder if he brought them skulls in here. That's a good thought, Willie. Yeah. Let's go around there and check them out. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Old Big Brass Trapper used to raise a lot of big horn steers. Oh, and Trapper, he'd shove it right up in the snoo one. So I've got a stinking. There might be something in one of these skulls up here. Nothing up the nose, nothing in the eyes. They got all sorts of holes and crevices. Maybe he put something in one of them. What the hell would he have left here? A note? A letter or something? I'm not seeing anything. Well, I'm not seeing anything either. No. We need to check these out. You guys see anything over there? Uh, I ain't seen anything here. It's a grapevine. But you know, Trapper, if he would have left something out here like this, it would have been that big one right there in the center. <laughs> yeah, home. you're right. Go big or go home. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way Trapper was. Yeah. Well, he could have possibly left something up there in one of them horns. They're kind of hollow, you know. Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a good idea, Willie. Well, now, if only thing we had was a ladder. Ain't got no ladder. Yeah, we do. We got our hillbilly ladder over there. A hookaberry? Step up, Jordy. We need to use your climb up and get your old I think I just might as well get a set of rungs put on my back. <laughs> <laughs> that might be helpful, brother. Move them rocks out of the way so we can get in there. I don't know why the hell I got chose to be the team's ladder. I really don't like people climbing up my back. <laughs> These guys, it's a piggyback exactly ride. What you'd call delicate. I mean, hell, look at them. Man, I didn't sign up for this. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you did, Timmy. You signed your name on that dotted line, brother. That was a hot monster. Come on, Huck. Let me in there. Step out of your way, step ladder. <laughs> step ladder. I hope you get there, Will. I will over here. Hey, hold up, hold up. What the hell's that? Hey, look at this. What the hell is that? It's time to lose the weight. Look at this. What the hell is that? Bill's moving these big rocks out of the way, trying to make room for Huff to get a little closer. All of a sudden, he spots something. Somebody carved it, son of a bitch. That's been carved in Red Rock. Yeah, it's been hand carved, too. There's definitely something carved in the bottom of this rock, and it looks important. Wait a minute. We've seen that somewhere before. This looks like part of the Pathfinder symbol. All of a sudden, we realize. We saw this before. I'm not sure, but I think. Oh, very well could be here. I think this may be part of the Pathfinder symbol, the Traveler's Journal. There's more. What? Trapper's initials. Son of a bitch. J.R.T. Trapper, that son of a gun. All of a sudden, I see something else carved into that stone. J.R.T. That's Trapper's initials. We found it. Now, we know for sure. This was left by Trapper. Do we have Trapper's journal? Right there in the glove box. You go grab it? Hell yeah. yeah. Let's compare. Let's, let's, let's find out. Yeah. So, let's just do that. Man, this is an awesome find. Hell yeah. That's what he left for us right there. We only need to get Trapper's journal. We need to compare these side by side. Willie, come cool. on. Get that over here. Pronto, brother Reno. Hell yeah. Open that bitch up. Yeah. Let's compare them. Let's compare them. Yeah. Right there. Look, right there. Yeah. Son of a bitch. That's it, it bro. That's wow. it. This is the exact same as the top and bottom of Trapper's Pathfinder symbol. Willie whips out that journal, opens up the Pathfinder symbol, and right there it is. Son of a bitch. There's no doubt. This is a match. What the hell does this mean? There are four different smaller symbols that make up this whole thing. For some reason, one of them is carved into the bottom of this stone. What does this mean? Guys, I don't know why Trapper put this here, but it has to be important. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah, it does. Let's go up there and keep looking and see if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's a good idea, yeah. Come on. We need to check out and see if there's anything else that Trapper left at this wall. Let's start looking all them rocks over, guys. Let's start looking these over. None of us know what this means or why Trapper put it here. That don't have nothing on it. But something tells me each one of these smaller drawings that make up the Pathfinder symbol, they mean something. Buckaroo, I ain't finding nothing on these things. What? I can't tell you. But there's no doubt about it. This is important. There's nothing over here. My guess is, is this is what we're supposed to find. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. know what? I'd love to take this with us, but I think the trapper put it here. It needs to stay here. I agree with you. I agree 100%, Buck. Put it right back where you found it. Yes, sir. Please. Yes, sir. Good idea. I feel yes, good sir. about that. I don't know what this means, guys, but we found what he left. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. That's plain as nose on your face right there is an issue. Well, you said we go ahead and head on out of here, put our minds together, and start trying to cipher this out. Hell, yeah. yeah. Hell, yeah. We knew there was something at this wall, and we found it. Look, right there. Yeah. Son of a bitch. That's it. Chip, bro. That's wow. it. Now we know the Pathfinder symbol is a big piece of this mystery in the Tiger Valley. Man, what hell, fun. Yeah, man, that was yeah, a hell of a fun. Hell, yes. Trappers, we're closing in on the truth that you left for us. Take away, buckaroo. One piece at a time. What a mystery. What a man. I heard it like a peach a little bit. Yeah. Call. Called us out for a meeting today. Come on down. This don't happen very often, but usually the little bastard, when he does this, Somebody's getting a damned ass chewing. Hey, how are you, buddy? This man's part of this team. Good to see you, Coach Willie. He's been with us from the beginning, 
and we think of him as a brother. Hey, fellas, how are you? <laughs> well, you tell us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you tell us. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it every time you call us out, I feel like we're getting called to the principal's office? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cole. Yeah, Kelly does feel that way. Bill, you ever been in the principal's office? Me? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. About a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> and they had this thing called Board of Correction. <laughs> Take both hands, same position, boys. Wow! Check it out. <laughs> I don't think you got whooped near enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cole, why did you bring us out here today? Yeah. It's a good question. Um, if you guys remember, about a year ago, the five of you came and met me right here on, on this same gravel road. And there was something I showed you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Those big red eyes. Damn Whatever right. my show. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. Exactly. About a year ago, Colt showed us footage of two big red eyes right over the top of my shoulder that we didn't see at the time. Dude, I swear, I just hit a dog. Oh, oh, you see it? Hell yes, I seen it. Son of a bitch. Today, I asked you guys to come meet me on the same gravel road because there's something I need to show you again. Oh, oh wow. really? Like really? What do you got? Yeah, what is it? I've got some drone footage you guys need to see. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. A bitch. As you guys know, Cowboy Ken is always flying the drone. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Best in the business. Yes, yes right. by yeah. far. Ken just been covering the Tiger Valley, getting all sorts of aerials. Great, great footage. We use the drone to get some really cool shots from way up above. It goes up high. You can see the lay of the land, the top of the trees. It's really neat. You know, we're kind of set in our ways. We're a bunch of old hillbillies. But this new technology, these drones, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can get into this. Now, the, the thing is, when Ken's shooting that drone, he's got a screen about this big, right? Oh, right. yeah. yeah. Small yeah. as hell. Yeah. You, you can't see detail. You can only see basic big picture. So Ken's shooting that footage, and it's getting shipped back to Los Angeles where they're able to go through it on a big screen, HD, really see everything. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, producers started going through Ken's footage, and boys, they caught something. Really? Damn. What'd they catch? What'd they caught? What'd they catch? You guys want to take a peek? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Take a look. Colt said he's got some drone footage that we need to see. Hell yeah. Let's yeah. take a gander, Dennis. We got to check this out. You guys ready for this? Hell yeah. 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 Right down here. Nice slow shot coming over top. Nice canopy. And then bam, look what's that. Ho, oh, look at that! Wow! Son of a bitch! Is that the Pathfinder symbol? Hell yes, it's a Pathfinder symbol! Cold Star's playing that drone footage, and right there you can see, out in the middle of nowhere, this old building. Look at that. And right on top of it is Trapper's Pathfinder symbol. That's the exact same as what's in Trapper's journal. Yeah, it is. Go to hell. This Pathfinder symbol, it has guided us from the beginning. I know he would want you all to have this. Wow. Journal. For every destination, there's a right and a wrong path. John Tice, 1972. Pathfinder. Pathfinder symbol. That's a shoe shine box. It's identical. This looks like part of the Pathfinder symbol. Son of a bitch. Looks like some sort of old shack or shed or something. Right there in the middle of Tiger Valley? If he was drilling right there, it'd be a tool shed. This has got to mean something. Maybe that is where Travis yeah. is drilling. Yeah. Did we just find the spot? where Trapper was drilling all the way back in 1984? My memory recalls, I think it happened in uh, 1984 when it happened. June 14th, 1984. The rumbling in the Tiger Valley. Look at that spot right in the damn water. Look at that. It started that night. What did he do? Yeah. What did he do? We knew Trapper had a massive secret hidden out here in these hollers. 
And I think we may have just found it. Guys, I think we just found one big damn piece of the puzzle. Hell oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Part of me thinks that Trapper's up there watching down, watching us close in on this mystery he left behind. <laughs> Hope we're doing him proud. Man, when you said you had something to show us, you weren't kidding. <laughs> yeah. Well, boys, I'm not done. Oh, you boy, done? you're not done. Yeah. Something else I gotta show you. If you top this, yeah. you, whether you like it or not, you may get a big fat kiss on the cheek. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. You it's gonna top that? Came <laughs> bearing surprises and gifts today. <laughs> <laughs> see that? Let's see what gift you got now. Colt said there's something else that he needs to show us. What the hell's he got? Take a look at what we caught here. Ready? Yeah. 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 Watch this. Watch this. Right up here. Right there. Oh, 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 son of a bitch! Holy. That thing's walking up right. That's a Bigfoot! Hell yeah, that's a Bigfoot! Guys, we need to find that Bigfoot. We need to find that building. Dang straight.